Right now, I'm headed to one of the most requested restaurants that I've been asked to try here in the city. It's called A1 Soul Food. My homeboy Donald just left from there and said, man, the food is busting. I wanna know for myself if that's actually true. So y'all, hop in the passenger seat. Let's go check out A1 Soul Food to see if it's really A1 like they say it is. Let's go. Oh, this you crazy mother. Hope this line ain't long. A few minutes later. Man, the line is definitely wrapped around. I mean, the food got to be good for the line right there. It's like a long line, but we gonna wait and see. You ain't got no choice. And it's like 1.30. So lunchtime is over. So I think the line will be shorter. No, they say it's an all-day thing. Can I get a side of uh, no. Can I get the tartar sauce for the fish? Thank you. So I finally made it out. A boy, this food looking good as hell right now. Let's get to the car, show y'all what I got. All right, y'all, let's take a look at this. Oh my damn. Y'all, look at this right here. Look at that whiting. This is fresh out the freaking fire. That cornbread looking fire. Or this mac and cheese looking good as hell and cheesy. We got them yams right there. Boy, this plate looking fire fire. Got the yams. Oh, hold on. No, I ain't done with them. Had to hit them with that cornbread dressing right there. And then y'all see, I had to get that banana pudding right there. So, man, it's time to grub. Let's go. How much that s cost? That's one of the great things about this place. The prices are freaking insane and not in a bad way. In a good way. For all this, the yams, the mac and cheese, the cornbread, the whiting, the banana pudding, the dressing. Come here. I paid $15. What? $15 for all of this. Man, at any other place, this is easy 25 bucks right here. So I waited in line of at least a good 20, 30 minutes or something like that. But look, from what everybody was saying, this is well freaking worth it. I know y'all tired of hearing me talk right now. So you know what I got to do right now? It's You can't have the whitening without the hot sauce, so I got the hot sauce. And I know some of y'all be like, but Keon, I thought you was vegetarian. I'm in the class of my own, I'm pesca vegetarian. What the fuck does that even mean? Got to dip right there in the hot sauce. Oh, don't drip on me. Mm. That's got a nice crisp on that. We're gonna dip it in the hot sauce. Then we're gonna dip it in that tartar sauce. Come on with the, come on. It's crispy, it's seasoned well. I gotta get to this mac. First off, I'm gonna try this cornbread. Sweet cornbread. Nothing spectacular, but good cornbread. It's time to get to this mac and cheese. Look how cheesy that it is. Oh my damn. Oh my damn. You got to be more careful. Dot, boy. Whoa, 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 whoa. This mac and cheese right here. Somebody grandmama back there. I swear to God, Geraldine back there kicking out pans of mac and cheese. Only somebody named Geraldine can make mac and cheese. It's good. Mmm. 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 Mm. And they don't skimp on the portion size. Cheesy, creamy as a mofo. Season like hell. Oh, did he just cut his pants? Y'all batting a thousand right now. Time for these yams. Now, you know, everybody can't do yams. He ain't lying. Well, let's see if y'all can do some yams. Yams are straight. They ain't bad. I've had better. The yams could have been a bit sweeter. I don't know. I like, I like a whole bag of sugar up in that mug. You know what I'm saying? Diabetes. Diabetes. Now, I didn't get no gravy on this dressing because I know the gravy was like chicken gravy. She said there wasn't no meat in this dressing. So, uh, Let's go. Grandma Mabel, 
I know you back there hiding in that kitchen some damn well. I know you out. I know you hiding in that kitchen. This dressing is so good. You got the. I got to go pinky out and eat it like I'm real sophisticated. Mmm. With no gravy to be this damn good, boy. Y'all living up to your name, A1. Cause this shit is A1 for real, for real. Now here's the ultimate test. You know that what's my favorite dessert? Yeah. No, I just had to do that. That's that two show. What's my favorite word? At any rate, what's my favorite dessert? Banana damn pudding. Y'all got to get this right. Now I know off the rip, the pudding is not homemade cause it's too yellow. Banana pudding time. Um, excuse me? The fuck? I want to cover your ears. Oh my god. Whoa. Shit. God. Hold up. Hey. <laughs> Wait a minute. Hold the freak up. Hold that door. I'm going to leave the door open. Oh, that shit. Fire. That motherfucker right there is. Ooh. So the question of this video was. If this food was gonna be A1, if it's busting, if it's living up to the name, God damn it, this is A1, A2, and A3. No lie. And I'm not saying this just to say this. We've got other soul food restaurants in Atlanta. This right here is top three. I don't even know what the other top two would be. This tastes like it just came out of somebody's southern grandma kitchen named Bertha, Geraldine, and Mabel. All three of them back there in the kitchen cooking. Grandmamas and aunties. I give this place a 10 out of freaking 10. I will definitely be going again. That's for shizzle. Look, shout out to my brother Shady too, because he told me about this place years ago. I can't even front. I don't put nobody food up against my granddad food. That go up against my granddad food right there. If you're in the A, come check out A1 Soul Food right here on MLK. Come taste it, come try it. And I'm glad y'all tried me. And, and if you like this content, show your love and hit that subscribe button. I would appreciate that. And then like and share all the content. I'm out this thing. Thank y'all for watching. I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. Peace. Don't forget the most important thing is love. And I will see y'all soon.